Hello everybody and welcome to Pure Pain. It's time. It's that time again. We have to try it. We always have to try it. It's time to suffer. Suffer so hard through the ultra hard challenge. I did take it lost last time. Had a really good run that I lost. So this time I want to put myself through a different kind of pain. Um, I think it's worth just giving this a go every now and again. Just to really drive home how much... I hate this. <laughs> we'll just see. Um, I think supposed to play this challenge as Samson. I'm confused. I thought this challenge was played as Samson. Is it not? I guess not. Either way, we're going to give this a go and see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be an absolute delight. I don't know if Cataract's here is very good for us. Like, I don't know what it does apart from... Tears remain airborne, so anything longer. Okay, it doesn't do anything extra. Oh god, a Bernie. Oh lord, it's a Bernie. It, are all the floors XL floors? I don't remember. Oh fuck. How did I not get hit there? What the hell? What the hell? And as with the question of the day, we'll keep it simple. What's something you're finding pretty hard at the moment? What's something you're struggling with? What can I do to help? <laughs> Probably nothing, but we'll see, we'll see. Right. Fire Mind is kind of scary, but pretty good. It's more damage is what it is. It's more damage. I think with Fiend Folio, this challenge is just so much harder because there's just so many more champions to worry about, like types of champions and stuff. God, these guys are fast. What the hell? I realize this won't give me much because I didn't feed into it much, but... Oh, really? It, it can literally give you nothing? I didn't realize that was the case. Oh, really? I thought I'd at least still get a black eye out of it. But yeah, there's just so many possible champions in Fiendfolia that are potentially disastrous for us. And obviously the rooms are just generally a bit harder, so it really adds to the pain of this whole thing. But I'm thinking Fire Mine's going to be pretty good. I mean, fire in general is just good damage. Why? Why did it have to do that? God damn it. Um, and then the explosions, while risky, are actually pretty useful. I always forget that this, uh, this challenge isn't all blurt bosses. Just keep on going with this because we're lining up a nice amount of shots. Get some explosions in there. Unfortunately, Cube of Meat isn't going to be all that useful for us, but it might block some damage here or there. Then we got you with very strange looking little haunts. And what version are you? Are you just spider version? I think you're just the spider version, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, nice. That went very well. Still though, our health is not looking good. Um, matchbook doesn't help us. It does give us a black heart though. And in fact, it gives us and a lot of extra bombs, which I think we should try and utilize to get some potential bonuses here. We'll try our best. We might have to do some extra rooms here, but I'd rather try than not try. Is there any cards that can give us HP? Does that work? I don't really know the sort of limits of this challenge, I'll be honest. I'll be bombing pretty much every wall because I'm just not going to know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I knew it was going to happen at some point, but did it have to be now? This game. Come on. You chill for once in your life. A potentially good run. I've been hit so many times. By such ass stuff. That chest had a one penny in it. You're going to need to die like... A lot quicker than your currently dying enemies. This guy's going to be a nightmare to hit. 
Oh, for God's sake. We're already dead, basically. <laughs> this run was gone swimmingly. Of course, Fire Mind isn't going to make it any easier. I just wanted to find my secret room, God damn it! I should have just left. Kind of useless, sadly. Sadly kind of useless. Right. Where's my other secret room? Come on. I've checked these, I think. Wait, have I? I don't know. How is there so many rooms with enemies still? I thought we were done with that. Apparently not. Also, goddamn, they're all champions. They have so much health. I don't know what this item is, but I'm going to use it. It re-rolled all the enemies into stump- oh, st Okay. <laughs> it re-rolled them all. Oh god, it's having all the curses is the real pain point with this. Give me a black candle. Yeah, for some reason I thought you played a Samson in this, but obviously not. No health there for us. Is this good? Spot a burn heart when you take fatal damage, all red heart containers and converted into I mean it's it's fine. Unfortunately, it didn't actually spawn the burn heart. Because, because it spawns it on the floor, we don't actually get that burn heart. Now, one good thing about Fiendfolio is there, there are some enemies that can't be champions, like those guys. Which certainly helps out. And there's like enemies like this that can be champions, and they explode. And they scare me a large amount. Get your little shithead child away from me. Dude, these little do these little fucking oh my god, they're so fast. I know they're on fire, but why do they move at such speeds? Okay, these guys can't be champions either. That's very very nice to know. Oh god, just give us toxic shock, please. That would severely help out. I'm trying to think of like the core items that would that would make this experience better. There's not too many. There's not too many. The wafer would be good for the uh, half to damage from champions. Toxic shock would be good for clearing rooms. Um, Tammy's head would probably be pretty useful. Guppy's head would be good. Dead lung. Spawn a large pool. Eh, that's not bad. I mean, it's a black heart as well, at least. We're going to be taking a lot of damage, I would assume, so... Not awful on that front. I just wish I had mappings so I could get to my boss a little bit easier. That would help things drastically. I could just get to the boss in a bit more of a timely manner. It's weird, the fire does have burny sound on them, but I don't actually know if it burns them at all. money. Sadly, the shop probably isn't super valuable for us. Mm. That could potentially be good, but it's just not worth taking damage for, is it? Close. Sadly, I didn't kill anything else in the room, though, which I was really hoping it would. Peace. Thank you. Awesome, and you guys are pretty easy to take out by just shoving my face up against you. I think Curse of the Maze having that all the time is going to be super confusing as well. Every floor being an XL floor, I don't mind too much. It's slightly inconvenient, but it's not awful. Good, you're dead. Fortunately, all of these guys went headless, which is... A problem. The this champion's a real annoying one. Where it splits into two more. At least it doesn't give us the the um modded curses as well. If it did, that'd be ooh, another level of pain. Really, you again? Can can we not with with uh 
but the whole boss that gives us an item that does literally nothing for us. I won't say literally nothing. It does very little for us. I'm not going to be uh, doing too much with an orbital, I've got to say. Okay. Sticking about in a respectable amount of time, though. But yeah, getting a cube of meat is just not really what we want. We, we but Really, we need anything that's going to give us more HP or damage. Damage would also be good. But yeah, it'll at least block shots, so it's not completely useless. Good. Let's not use another bomb from now on, though. We've got four pennies out of that as well, which isn't bad. But yeah, actually using it for orbital damage... Probably a little bit risky. We get that. We have to go for Angel Deal, unfortunately. We did get Fire Eye out of that, though. That's nice. Moment. One sec. Right. What have you got for me, item room? Speedball. Not great. <laughs> this is potentially good. Strength is interesting. All of these enemies are not what I want to be fighting. You can hit you pretty easily with stray shots, but they're not champions. I like that. I like the fact that they're not champions. They are very annoying enemies regardless. These are also not champions. Look at that one's face. It went headless. Got Why is so many of you goddamn going headless? All of you went headless, really. I swear, I don't know what the chances are for that to happen, but I think it's like a 50-50, so that was pretty unlucky. Okay, good. Hey, we got through that pretty gracefully, and we didn't face off against any champions, which is rather nice. Oh, God. These guys are kind of crazy. They do some very quick charging. And they also have a lot of HP. Wow. Okay. Dead lung, kind of terrible. I, I kind of thought that the layer pool of blood on being hit thing would be a little bit bigger than like a tiny little pool of blood. I thought it would be like a fairly sizable one that covered a lot of the room. Not like a lemon mishap sort of size. A little bit upsetting on that. I was, was hoping that would be something we could actually use to do some damage, but seemingly it's going to be mostly useless. Got to accept it, I guess. Ain't much we can do. These guys are going to create loads of goddamn shit, so... You need to go away, dude. Oh, why did I try and use my orbital against a champion that fucking explodes? Of all the fucking... Oh, my God. Of all the idiotic things I could have done in that situation, that was definitely the worst. Haven't used my orbital the entire time I've had it. And the first opportunity I get to use it, I'm like, Ooh, look, an enemy that is terrible for me to use this against. Why not? I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. I'm trying to get rid of this poop now because it's going to get me hurt otherwise. Good. No petrified poop though, sadly. Still looking for our other item room, of course. Why? Why did I... Mm. Why? Why do I keep... This is why I don't like having cube of meat. I get tempted to use it because my damage is low. And it gets me hurt. Just don't use it, you goober. There's no point. It will definitely be a bad idea. Also, this is a tragic room. I do not like this. That guy fills in gaps. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 
got an item out of that guy. I'm guessing that's a contraband. It is a contraband. All of them transformed to chests? Wow. That was very surprising. Sadly, not great stuff there, though. That guy explodes. Don't try and use an orbital against him. Honestly, this is just a horrible room as well. Everything just takes so long to kill when you've got no damage ups. In general, but especially when everything's a champion. This is way too far into the run to have no damage ups. Sad. Oh my god, I got hit there as well. This run's probably coming to a swift end. Nice. <laughs> Best thing we could have got on there. Are these explosive ones or the, the red ones that exploded the shots? I really don't know. The red ones that exploded the shots, okay. It's hard to tell with the champion effect going on on a lot of enemies. What colour they're meant to be. For a second there, I thought I'd been scammed. That's good. Oh, another health down. Great. Glad it's giving me a lot of those. Come on. Die. There you go. And now we've got to somehow find the boss. Gats to go, fellas. You gats to go. I'm liking having parasitoid tears. That could be very useful. Oh, God. Don't know if we're surviving this one. Dude, just die. Thank you. My goodness. I, I despise not having mapping. One of the worst possible things in this game. Oh my god, that guy hit me as well. Fuck's sake. Wasn't a champion at least. I'm not dead, but don't think not being dead will last for too long. Oh my god. Okay, I've got burn hearts now. Still only puts me two hits away from death, though. Where is the boss? Where is the boss? Where is the boss? The boss? The boss? Show me to your leader. Please. This isn't even the right way to the boss. God damn it. What the fuck? Kind of... Oh my god, what was that? I don't even know what this does. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. Where the fuck's the boss? <laughs> how have I how have I not found it? I hate this. I hate this. Which way did I go wrong? I'll never know. But don't get mapping. Not having mapping is the worst. Like Have I been that way before? I think so. I've been that way before. Okay, so the maze certainly doesn't help this whole situation. Okay, I've not been this way before. We found a way I haven't been. God, this is sketchy. Aristotle, you need to be doing a lot more for me right now. Wow, that was a good shot. Okay. We go again. We need a better first floor. The first floor is 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 pretty pretty important to this whole ecosystem. Really needs to be a lot, lot better. Um, hello? Never seen that happen before. That's strange. Oh god. Very terrible first room here. Yep, just restart. <laughs> So, some of the Fiend Folio rooms make this 
way harder than it has to be. Like, when, when all of the enemies are champions, I feel like some of them are, like, guaranteed damage. Also, let's not do Burning Basement or Cellar. Let's just get normal Basement, shall we? Because Burning Basement and Cellar just make this five times harder than it has to be. Especially the Cellar. Cellar's too many spiders, which can't be champions, but they are in exceedingly large amounts. And also, there's more chance of bee enemies. Okay, I'll check this at least. Hot Wheels. Keep getting that item today for some reason. Doesn't do much for us, though. Okay, Rock Gut has potential. The, the car is not very good, but it can at least destroy, like, rocks and stuff, so it has A use. Rock Gut is, is kind of weird. If it spawns in the right spot, it can be really good, but it can also cause issues for us, and sometimes just spawn somewhere where it makes no impact on the room whatsoever, so it's kind of potentially really good. Like, in the... In this room here, it's great. It spawned in a great location. It did good damage. In another room like this, it's also... Excuse me. Get the fuck off. Step the fuck back. Okay. Great. Just, just kill me. Just kill me now. That was terrible. Why did I take so much damage to that crap? This challenge makes me so mad. It's so stupid. <laughs> but I feel the need to prove to myself that I can do it. See, now that... That's a good start. It doesn't seal the deal, but it's a start. Because now, champions are only more difficult because they have more HP. They don't actually deal more damage anymore. So, we've taken away one of the largest threats. God, I don't like this little puppy hole we've found ourselves in here. And also, wh why why does there have to be a headless guy in here too? Was there not enough of these guys already? We really have to add more to this shenanigans. Just rude. Also, these mini mushroom guy, mini mushrooms, mini marshmallow guys shouldn't be able to be champions. It's just again rude. There's only pink champions as well right now. Oh, don't go headless! Come on! You didn't have to do that, did you? Just takes way more time out of my day to kill you now. Okay. Hopefully our other item is something decent. Don't know what I was hoping to get out of that. Maybe small rock, I guess. Again, my biggest issue is just I don't know where the fuck I'm going right now. Oh god, this room's gonna be tragic. Yep, this room's going to be really, really difficult. Again, the rooms just aren't designed with the idea that every enemy is a champion in them, so they become obscenely difficult when every enemy is a champion because it was never meant to be. Very frustrating. We shall get through it. We shall push through it. I just want to find my other goddamn item room. I just wish it'd give you mapping. That's all I want. I just want to know where I've been, so I'd have to spend six years going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All I want for Christmas. You have to confuse it further by adding in Curse of the Maze as well, don't you? Now I have no idea where I am. I definitely haven't been this way before, but still does that that doesn't mean I'm any closer to my item room. Like how is there still so many I know it's an Excel floor, but I've done so many rooms. How is there still rooms to do? Also, oh no you don't with your little kids. Oh for fuck. Get off! Don't you dare spawn more of them, for fuck's sake. Stop it. Get some help. Right. We've been all of that way. Have we been in here? We have. Have we been up here? We have. Have we been here? We haven't. Okay, there's that item room. Good. Slightly rough room here, though, because 
plenty of opportunity for these guys to go headless and also just there's a lot of them. And we have base damage, so they're taking forever. I was hoping to use the bomb ones in order to kill the other ones, but didn't really get the opportunity. Oh my god. Look at how many of them went headless. It's just, it's annoying. Stop. Going. Headless. You don't have to do that, you know. You don't have to do that. You could have just... Could have just not. Now you're making us take an extra 20 minutes in this goddamn room. We've been on this first floor for four minutes already. It is a travesty. That's very good. Okay, I'm glad I I'm glad I made my way back over for this. Now we've got to find the boss room again, which I think is over to the left here. Yes, it is. Good. You again? Can you not? Please, can you just go the hell away? We don't need you. Is this like a permanent fixture of this challenge that we always come across him? I, I What's going on? Stop. You don't even give me the soul heart you're meant to drop. It's just rude. Unfortunately for us, this is a really annoying boss because sinus infection just doesn't work against this guy very effectively at all. They're just going to drop off him the moment he teleports. So we lose a lot of potential damage on this guy. He also just creates a fuck ton of fire everywhere, which is not very convenient. I mean, luckily we're killing him reasonably quickly anyways, but... Still... We got him. Can we just once get a HP up? Please. Just once. This is horrible. What what the hell is this room? <laughs> Thank god I had these little jumping spider bros, because otherwise that would have been horrible. The bugger T is not stuck to him, it's stuck to the goddamn fly, so it's dealing no damage to him. This is rude. What the fuck am I meant to do? Oh my god, game. Just die! Ranger. Fucking ball of bandages and a ranger. How rude can you be? Oh my fucking life. This is tragic. What the hell are you meant to do in this challenge? I I don't know if anyone has, but has, has anyone else ever done this challenge with Fiend Folio enabled? Because I feel like it might not have ever been done before, because it feels, it's feeling real impossible round about now. Like, this challenge is already rushed, but I've done it, like, three or four times before on vanilla. But doing this with Fiend Folio active just seems, like, near impossible. The rooms are so tough, in, like, in general. And also, I mean, my item luck has just been atrocious. Wafer and um, Sinus Infection is great, but getting two boss items in a row that are absolutely useless to us is quite annoying. Also, what? How did that Brimstone hit me? How on earth are you going to tell me that Brimstone just hit me? How on earth are you going to tell me that? That is complete BS and you goddamn know it. What the fuck am I meant to do here? Why, why have those two as a boss that you can fight double trouble? That seems really, really, really unfair. Oh, right. I think we're going to have to do some restarting until we get our item rooms in the first room and get something good. I think that's the only way this is going to work. We need something solid off the bat. Let's just do a room and see. Nope. If, if the first, if the item room isn't off of the first room, we restart sort of thing. Because we just, we need something good. This challenge is not possible without some hefty damage ups or something that's going to clear rooms for us. Like, yeah, the base stats that you start with here, like, it's kind of crazy that you start as Isaac with, like, base stats. You need to be starting as someone with a lot higher than base stats in this challenge, realistically. See, so the D6, it seems like it's going to be real good, but it's actually fucking useless because we can't see any items before we pick them up. So, 
D6 is useless. We can't re-roll anything. Oh, this challenge is depressing. Just like, I realise it's called Ultra Hard for a reason. It's meant to be like, basically all the shit that could possibly be piled on, piled on. But it really does take it to the extreme, doesn't it? No healing, like no hearts. Um, all curses and all champions. It's like, it's a, just maybe pick one of those things. Maybe just one and not all three. Maybe just no healing would be, would be fairly hard as it is. Maybe don't make every single enemy a champion. That would be a little more fair. Right, yeah, I just, I just gotta check the rooms and hope for the best. See what we can get going. I want to give this a fair shot. This challenge annoys the hell out of me. As you can probably audibly hear from the anger in my voice. But it's a it's a crowning achievement to be able to beat it. And especially with Fiendfolio on. I want to be able to do that. If only it could give me an item room in the first room. Even just maybe one time. Like just 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 a, just a few times here so I can actually start a run please. No. Not, not feeling like starting runs today. Quite annoying. Challenge, it's just a mess. This room's gross. This room's actually gross. No. The if you do if you if you would do this challenge, the cellar and burning basement are like big no goes. Unless you get like a really good item for it. In which case it's tolerable. Nope. Trying to think of some of the other things other than, like, Toxic Shock that would really make this work. I mean, the wafer should have been one of them, but we got the wafer and it made basically no difference. Um, I'm going to stick with this because I'm pretty sure um, Chimera gives us uh, stats for, for killing champions. Uh, let, let, let me just read it. Um, room stat up when killing an enemy, floor stat up killing a mini boss, parent stat up when killing bosses. Okay, it doesn't have anything to do with champions, but we do get a lot of stat increases based on enemies we kill, so. It is random stats, of course, but still it's pretty good. And this is a, a basement floor as well, which makes me want to play it a little more. Don't get hit by that. Don't like these little square flies. Cute baby, actually, cute baby's not terrible. It's not good, but it's certainly not terrible. Just because it can, um,. least everything. Whoops. It can freeze things, so it can have some chain reaction properties to it, I guess. Really hoping that would kill at least one enemy, but also obviously a bit of slowing too, which is nice. Yeah, like that look. Beautiful. This is how we do it. See, that was that was pretty perfect. Q baby has the chance. Really? You're gonna bumble around like a fuck <laughs> Fuck off bouncing off my tears, you little shit fly. Fuck off. When I fire my tear at you, don't bonk off in the random direction, you little cock. Now I don't know where the fuck I'm going again. It feels like if you've taken one heart full of damage, you're basically screwed on the first floor. If you've taken a heart of damage, it's like, well, basically, unless you get a HP up, it's game over. But we're going to get famine again and just get another cube of meat because that's basically how this challenge works, apparently. It might actually be a thing of the challenge unless I've just been getting really unlucky. Like, if this is famine again... Okay, it's not. So we, 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 are, we were just getting really unlucky. Okay. 
good. We got permanent one damage up as well. That's very nice. HP up. I don't know what Surf Boxer does. Oh, damn. Heal two hearts at the start of every floor. That's incredibly good. This is a rather rough room. We're dealing okay damage, but we've got very, very limited space to manoeuvre. Might hit me, goddammit. That gave me plus two luck. And that gave me plus one damage. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Not great, but we'll heal two hearts at the end of this floor. That's very useful. Oh, really? Really? You just love spiders all over me? Fucking stop. Fucking stop. Can't just keep throwing spiders. Fuck it. Stop. You can't just keep throwing spiders. It's not allowed. Holy shit, there were so many spiders. What the hell? Very, very rude amount of spiders there. Oh my fucking life, this is a tragic room. This is crazy. Way too much going on for one room. Every kill gives us stats, though, which is real nice. Only for the room, of course, but still. Okay. Got another key there as well. I'll certainly take that. I think there's anything I can get from there. How crazy would this be with rock bottom? God damn. Okay, this is another really rough room. We got these guys with the herming shots, which... I'm going to say I can't really do much against with the guys in the walls hanging around. <sighs> Again, this is another horrible, horrible room. Like, what the, the hell do I do here? There's, like, no space to maneuver. Okay, that, that helps. Oh, for fuck. Oh, no way that hit me. Oh, my God. Even a good run just comes fucking tumbling down so easily. I can't even kill this guy. Like, just fucking... Stop creating egg sacs and let me goddamn kill you. I can't fucking do anything against that little sack of shit. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Absolute god run. Like, the, the two items I got there, the Serp Box and the Chimera thing, amazing. No, in Fiendfolia, this isn't. This, 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 this genuinely, I don't think, is possible in Fiendfolia. The enemies are too difficult, and the rooms are just not designed at all with all familiars, all, all champions in mind in any way, shape, or form. Which, why would they be? I mean, that's not the point of the game. But it just, it makes this challenge legitimately impossible. Like, even having a great run like this with quite a lot of good stats. I mean, by the, the end of this room, I had eight damage. Not enough. Anyways, I'm going to end this recording here. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.